Hi everybody, my name is Dimitri, I'm a mechanic with the Trust Flight and then today we're going to show you how to clean, inspect and service the spark plugs on the engine. Our engine is already secured, magnetos are turned off so the prop is not going to spin on us. Uh, all we need to do is to remove the spark plugs from the cylinder. Every single cylinder has uh, two spark plugs, bottom and top one. And then each spark plug got the spark plug lead coming to it. Some usually they mark like this one says B2 right here, it means bottom two cylinder number two bottom spark plug. And then we just use a special socket to remove the spark plug without damaging anything surroundings or the spark plug itself. So then we need to evaluate the condition of the spark plug, make sure the threads are un undamaged. Make sure no any uh, pieces are chipped out and left in the cylinder or falling out of it. Uh, make sure the electrode is uh, complete and not damaged, as well as the insulator inside of the spark plug is complete without cracks or chipping pieces. We always replacing the gasket with the new one, so it's going to be a new gasket. This is a copper crash gasket that used uh, to seal the spark plugs in the cylinder, so it prevents the leakage of the pressure from the cylinder when it's in work. And after that, the spark plug goes in the tray. We got this nice new tray here. And since this is a cylinder number two, bottom spark plug is gonna go right here, which is marked for the bottom two spark plug. And then we're gonna move over there to where we got our uh, cleaning and test bench. This is our uh, cleaning and testing bench for the spark plugs. So we're gonna remove the old gasket from the spark plug. And then using our uh, little spark, spark plug buzzer tool, which basically just vibrates, which is gonna stick it in the spark plug and just clean it. Make sure there's nothing coming out of it. It's clean and nice without the deposits built up in there, like a carbon or lead, because the, the, the fuel that the airplane uses got uh, some lead in it. This one is pretty clean. I don't see any visual damage on it. All right, next step is the wire wheel to clean the treads of the spark plugs. All right, so now the treads are clean. We can go ahead and uh, check the gap on the spark plug. It's important to maintain a certain uh, gap in between the electrodes here. And usually this one is uh, defined by the manufacturer of the spark plugs. In our case, it's going to be uh, 16 thousandths to 21 thousandths. So that one we're going to check right now. For these purposes, we have this gapping tool here. Our spark plug goes inside. It's important not to drop the spark plugs because the insulator inside is made out of ceramic material. And usually if the spark plug is dropped on the floor, it could damage the internals and usually they're not visible. In this case, spark plugs are deemed to be not usable anymore. All right, going back to our gap tool, we just stuff our predetermined uh, gapping tool in between the electrodes and just squeeze them together slightly. And in terms to check it out, we see our tool is holding pretty tight, means the gap is set to where it should be. <clears throat> After that, we can sandblast the internals. So we got this cleaner here, which provides you with the sandblast and then just the airflow to clean any residual sand from the spark plug. So after the spark plug being blasted with the sand, we're gonna put some air through it to make sure there's no sand left inside. Visually verifying it's clean and it's not. Clean the sand out of it. Now we can go ahead and test it. All right, so now it's time to test the spark, the actual spark on the spark plug. After we cleaned it, gap it, uh, make sure it's uh, complete with no any damage. Integrity is okay. So just putting that here in the testing port. Screw it all the way down. Simulating the work of the spark plug in the cylinder. Put our uh, high voltage lead inside of the spark plug. And here's the test button.
to where a mechanic can visually verify there is a spark going on on the spark plug. This one is with no pressure and then machine also allows you to add some pressure. We got the pressure gauge right here and it's hooked up to the uh, shop air. So we're just adding pressure. Again, visually verifying the spark is uh, good and solid. This is the spark with no pressure. And this is where I'm adding the pressure. And it's gone. So this is a good strong spark. So we're gonna say this spark plug is good to go back to the airplane. All right, so now our spark plug is tested, gapped, inspected, cleaned, and could be reinstalled onto the aircraft's engine to be reused till the next inspection. Obviously, we're discarding the old gasket, going back there. This is our good to go back spark plug. We're gonna put the new gasket on it. And we're gonna apply some uh, thread lubricant for the spark plugs. With this one, it is important to apply it only to the uh, middle threads of the spark plug, not including the first two threads, because uh, this compound is based out of carbon. And uh, if the carbon will go deep inside of the cylinder, it's gonna create a hot spots. So it's important to maintain first two threads of the spark plug clean. All right, so now our spark plug is ready to go back into the cylinder. We're just gonna snag it down first, all the way down, as far as we can. And then we're gonna use a torque wrench, make sure it's calibrated up to date, got a sticker saying so. We're gonna set up our torque. In this case, that spark plug takes um, 35 foot-pounds of torque, or 420 inch-pounds. Which I'm gonna set up on the torque wrench right here, and we're gonna go ahead and torque it. Here the wrench is clicking. That means the desirable torque is reached. And the spark plug is back in the engine ready for service. The last step is just to put the leads on. And secure it with the wrenches. With the support of the lead nut, we're gonna tie down the actual contact nut right there. All right, this is how it's done. Uh, spark plug inspection, cleaning, uh, gapping, testing, and reinstallation. Hopefully it was useful for all of you all. If you like the video, like and subscribe.